I am often asked what being spiritual means. It's a very good question, it's a very deep question and for many it's an unanswerable question. There are so many beliefs about what spirituality is and what it isn't and often I'm asked well do you believe in God? Well yes of course I believe in God or that higher power but I also believe that we are God, God is within us or that higher power. People get mixed up with spirituality and religion and thinking you have to be really religious to be really spiritual and that's absolutely not the case at all. Some of the most spiritual pe people I have ever met or I know have never been inside a place of worship. Their place of worship is the world around them, it's nature and the planet. And for me, that's very much the same. I find my peace, my prayer, my meditation, my connection outside in nature. Yes, I do like to go to places of worship sometimes to sit quietly and to feel that vibration, that energy. Spirituality is about following the laws of nature, following the universe, those higher powers, respecting each other, being really connected to all that is. And to be spiritual, you don't have to sit cross-legged chanting and praying, or meditating, playing with sage, playing with your crystals, doing all those things that that new age movement has brought in over the last 20 or 30 years. And that's what people think spiritual people are. Religion and spirituality are not really intrinsically linked. There is a place for everything, but we don't judge. There should never be any judgment. And a really religious person may follow the doctrine of a religion and never think outside of the box. Whereas a spiritual person will probably think much more deeply and clearly and will question, will question everything, will ask questions for not be afraid to commune with nature, to commune with those higher powers and not live in a doctrine. But there is place for everything and everybody and so we don't judge others. We respect others. This is nature. This is spirituality and this is about being in connection. We believe we don't die. Spiritual people believe that we never die, that we are eternal beings, and I believe in that too. That we can speak to the spirits of those who've passed. Of course we can. They're within us. They're around us all the time. They never leave. We are all intricately linked. We all breathe the same air. We all look at the same moon the same stars, the same sun, we walk on the same planet. We're kind. To be spiritual is to be kind always, to do good always, to help others always. It's not just about self. It's about service to others, service to the planet, respecting others, respecting everything around us and that everything has a place in nature and that also means being kind to animals. Sit in nature, observe it, watch the seasons go by, you learn, you observe. That's where I go to learn and to observe and I understand that nature is a much bigger power than me and I cannot control. I just have to be, we have to learn to let go and if we learn from nature, we watch nature, that it becomes easier for us. This is spirituality. So we allow ourselves to think from a more in, um, 
uh, inhabited mind. Our vibration is our connection to others and what we give and share to others. And if you're ever in the um, vicinity of a really spiritual person, you'll just want to sit in that energy and you'll want to talk to them and share with them or sit with that peace that they bring. So to help you to awaken your spiritual practice, uh, practice or your spiritual way of living, I would recommend to you to every day look around you, commune with nature in some way. And even if you live in the inner cities, you can look up, you can talk to the stars, there'll always be a bird on a building somewhere, there'll always be a little plant growing in the cracks of the sidewalks. Communicate with nature or buy plants in your house. Spirituality is everywhere and you only have to look and you seek and you will notice it everywhere. You'll notice it in the beauty of nature that's all around you and it'll start helping you to see with more loving eyes. Everything around you. Take time to breathe every day. Take time out. Breathe. Sit for five minutes. Breathe. Have gratitude for all the good things that you have in your life. This is one of the great secrets of spirituality. Being grateful for all that you have and also all that you don't have. Because the not so good things that you have in your, the not so great things that you have in your life also are here to help us to learn valuable lessons and contain valuable information for us. Be grateful to all the people that you have in your life and all the people you've met, including the difficult ones. They all have a place on this planet. They, every person has a place and a reason to be here. And we're all unique and we're all here to learn and to help each other and not to judge. And look at every lesson, everything that you learn as a lesson in learning. Look at everything. And then even those that choose to cause you pain and that, and those that cause you pleasure, you can remove yourself from the pain and you can add more of the pleasure, but there is a lesson in everything. And look at the world through your heart. Live from your heart. Love with all you have. Okay. And live in the now, not living for not tomorrow or the tomorrow after that or the tomorrow after that, because tomorrow never comes about living in the now, reconnecting, being grounded, being here, being present in your life. And this helps you to be clearer so that you can move forward and you, you can start to feel the beauty of everything around you. And accept and do not judge others. Everyone has a unique path. and We're all here to learn. And always give attention to the task that you're doing. When you're washing the pots, wash the pots, wash them fully. When you're sweeping the floor, really sweep the floor. Be present. Give everything at hand your attention. This is spirituality. And yes, go play with your crystals. Connect to the earth. Talk to the fairies, the angels, those higher powers. And appreciate them and reconnect. And don't condemn others because their beliefs are different from yours. You do not start making other people believe what you believe. Let every person believe what they want to believe. But keep your mind clear. Be open-minded. Believe. Trust. These are my ideals for you to learn spirituality, to awaken the spirituality in you. And every day is a new beginning. And if we remember that, every day wake up and say thank you. And go to bed at night and say thank you. Because every day is a new beginning and a new chance. For those of you who don't know, in my book, Comfy Slippers and a Cup of Tea, there's a whole chapter on spirituality and awakening spirituality. And there's more over on my channel. So thank you for listening. I hope that has helped you a lot or somewhat. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. And thank you for allowing me to share.
my views with you. And also the shaman here is very wise and I love to sit in this energy. This is my connection and my 